great day for me is just quietly working right here in the studio. I'm trying to sort of create a moment in time of something that happened or that I saw. You know, that moment is there and then it's gone. Uh, that's the beauty of it. I've never really done a realistic look. It's sort of nature dis distilled through my imagination. I had been making my art for my entire life. I was a fine arts major in painting at CU. So I started doing the batik then at age 20, <laughs> a long time ago. I took a continuing ed class and it was an introduction to various textile techniques and there was a demonstration of the technique that I use which is uh, direct dye batik painting. And it was like, zingo, the light went on. I remember it so perfectly. I was like, this is my medium. For me, inspiration comes from nature. I just feel more alive when I'm in nature and my senses are much more attuned or more sensitized. And so uh, there's just endless inspiration between light, changing light and sky and I like to hike a lot at sunset so I love the changing light. Um, animals, um, just never ending. I often use photos. I take photos. I really love seeing animals um, in their natural habitat. Um, especially people that know my art would know. I, I'm so fascinated with bears. Um, I've seen probably over a thousand bears in the wild. There's these two bears. I took a photograph of them. Um, they were uh, playing and people think my art is so whimsical and they think, oh, she's just making it up and making the animals cuter than they really are. But when I blew the picture up, I realized these bears, when they sat down, they were sibling bears. They really did have their paws around each other. And then I did a piece, um, Sibling Bears of Katmai, and uh, it was just everything as I remembered it. The tundra swans, the glaciers, waterfalls, uh, just so the lupin blooming. And I never could do justice to all of what I've seen in my art. I, I fall so short, but those visceral memories are just all in here. I could just find a way to really, you know, express just how incredibly magical it all is. I mean, it's beyond words. It's beyond art. I feel most successful with my art when I feel I can create an image that pleases me, but also there is a really strong aspect that when it pleases a customer and I get that feedback, that makes me feel really, really good. We have been around as a store as long as we have because we are hardworking, we are creative, and we are problem solvers. We all care deeply about each other and about art and the creative process and about our customers. And I think you bring all of those things together and, and we just, we want to keep going. And we feel that we are a positive force in this community and for each other. And, and so we just keep, keep trying to innovate.